Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a groundbreaking development in the fight against lung cancer. The US FDA has just approved a powerful new combination treatment by Johnson & Johnson, Ribervant, containing amivantamab, and Lesclusa, containing lazertinib, as a first-line chemotherapy-free option for advanced non-small cell lung cancer, or NSCLC. This is truly a game-changer for patients with specific EGFR mutations. NSCLC accounts for about 80% to 85% of all lung cancer cases, and patients with EGFR mutations have long faced limited treatment options. This new combination therapy is set to change that by providing a more effective alternative to existing treatments like Tegriso. The approval comes on the heels of the Phase 3 Mariposa trial, which showed that the combination of Ribervon and Las Clues not only reduced the risk of disease progression or death by 30%, but also extended progression-free survival by an additional seven months compared to Tegriso. This is a huge step forward for patients. Before we dive deeper, if you're finding this information helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more updates on the latest medical breakthroughs. Let's talk about who this treatment is for and how it works. The combination of Ribervant and Las Clues is indicated for the first-line treatment of adult patients with locally advanced or metastatic NSCLC that harbors EGFR exon-19 deletions or exon-21L-858R substitution mutations. These mutations are detected by an FDA-approved test. Ribervant works by targeting the EGFR and MET receptors, which are often involved in the growth and spread of cancer cells. Las Clues, on the other hand, is a Kinase inhibitor that blocks the activity of specific proteins responsible for cell division. Together, they form a multi-targeted regimen that's more effective than previous treatments. The recommended dosage of Las Clues is 240 mg orally, once daily, with or without food, in combination with Ribervon. It's important to administer Las Clues anytime before Ribervon on the same day. This treatment should continue until disease progression or unacceptable toxicity occurs. Don't forget, anticoagulant prophylaxis is recommended for the first four months of treatment to prevent venous thromboembolic events, a key precaution in this regimen. As with any powerful treatment, there are potential side effects and important warnings to be aware of. Common adverse reactions include rash, nail toxicity, infusion-related reactions, musculoskeletal pain, and more. Serious adverse events occurred in 49% of patients with 7% experiencing fatal events like sepsis and respiratory failure. Patients need to be monitored for venous thromboembolic events, interstitial lung disease, severe dermatologic reactions, and ocular toxicity. It's crucial that healthcare providers manage these side effects carefully, adjusting the treatment regimen as needed. Interestingly, there are no known contraindications for this treatment, but it's essential to avoid using it alongside strong and moderate CYP3A4 inducers. And for mothers who are breastfeeding, it's advised to discontinue breastfeeding during treatment. If you're still with us, make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss any updates on life-changing medical advancements. In conclusion, the approval of Ribervant and Las Clues marks a significant advancement in the treatment of EGFR-mutated advanced NSCLC. This combination offers patients a new standard of care that could extend their lives and improve their quality of life. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone who might benefit. And as always, subscribe for more content like this. Your health is our priority. Let's stay informed together.